Hello everyone and welcome to No Scope Neon. Hope you guys liked my previous video on Intel. If not, link is in the description. Uh, guys, Intel has started to come up with the new generation of Core i3 10th gen which is called 10th generation Comet Lake and uh, it is influenced by AMD's decision to bump up its CPU all the way up to 16 cores and combined with its IPC Intel is really in a tight spot over here as we can see and reeling from the competition uh, I mean Intel's top line is attacked by AMD like anything Intel, AMD is literally taking on Intel hands down as we can see from uh, this particular article here it says that the upcoming Intel uh, i3 it is like a response to AMD's uh, budget uh, oriented uh, budget oriented lineup it Intel is actually trying to protect its own uh, budget oriented lineup by uh, bringing a hyper threading to the core i3 uh, guys if you uh, guys would know already that i3 has generally been a low core count cpu it, it always had uh, hyper threading and uh, the i5s never had hyper threading and then the i7s had uh, hyper threading so with the hyper threading on the intel core i3 uh, especially uh, the last gen didn't had the hyper threading so this gen generation has the hyper threading so what it basically means is that i3 now becomes a four core eight thread part uh, which is as uh, equal to uh, i7 of previous generations so an i7 from the previous generations uh, used to have four core eight threads but the upcoming 10th generation comment lake i3s will have four core eight thread right from the beginning the entry level itself will have four core and eight threads that is a very good news for uh, all the consumers all the retail consumers and people who are thinking to start building a new pcs they can wait on a bit longer and probably choose this particular cpu as for, for their budget entry into the pc market now intel uh, talking about this particular competition between intel and amd intel says that uh, it's rumored that the biggest advantage against amd is their financial horsepower and, and that is true AMD is not financially that strong as Intel. Intel has been the market leader for decades as we can see and Intel has put up cash not put up actually Intel has decided to forego at least three billion dollars of expected revenues in in cash uh, from the price cuts which they have announced recently to compete with AMD as we can see in this particular graph uh, it is quarter by quarter uh, chart from 2004 to 2019 and we can see that around 2006 was the time when AMD was very competitive to Intel and the market share uh, was very close to you know like equal market share for both of these companies but then uh, later or during the years Intel uh, did get a competitive advantage over the AMD uh, because of their better architecture and IPCs. We can see Ryzen launch uh, in the in the later end of 2018. We can see that AMD's uh, market share has been rising consistently, and during 2019, 19 it has made a huge jump. So as AMD gains the market share. Intel will lose the particular market share so that's what it is guys and there is one more news which has come up that uh, that during my life last video I was talking about the Intel Cascade Lake X uh, series of print generation processors that Intel had reduced the price cut so it was earlier a, a rumor but now that uh, the video cards Dot com has announced that after their story went live Intel decided to lift the embargo which was originally scheduled for October 7th so guys this is true to take the advantage of uh, the cheap prices though it's it says it looks cheap but it's not cheap but yes uh, it's good for consumers right the 
on the higher end desktop platforms we have much more options than what we used to have before in another news again intel has made a lot of headlines recently so intel is discontinuing its seventh gen kb lake cpus including the i7 flagships of seventh generations so my own current cpu is a seventh gen uh, kb lake cpu so um, i am expecting a, a price drop to come uh, ahead and maybe i can upgrade something so uh, intel has decided to discontinue uh, their seventh generation because now it looks uh, it doesn't make sense to uh, you would be spending uh, hundreds of dollars to uh, buy a new pc and, and when you can get up to six cores and eight cores by paying almost the same amount why would anyone go and purchase a seventh generation or a sixth generation uh, processor so coming to the next story uh, we can see that apple is under scrutiny for sending safari browsing data to china's tencent so this was observed by one of the john hopkins uh, processor cryptography professor uh, matthew green he highlighted the uh, settings in the mac os which uh, actually fetches the browsing data uh, from the Google so Google Microsoft Google has a save browsing Microsoft has smart screen and Tencent also has a list where they have a list of blacklisted uh, websites or fraudulent websites which we don't need to visit or we need to stay away from so what this guy recently observed that uh, this setting is now enabled right from the beginning itself earlier it wasn't and Tencent is actually listed as a save browser so that was uh, what which you know put up the eyebrows and uh, uh, started people started thinking in that particular direction that I, apple might be sending data or sharing data with uh, tencent so as we can see it is very much possible that tencent's blacklist is localized in china where google services are blocked and not elsewhere but the development has come to the fore time again that iphone maker is caught between rock and hard place with regards to its practices in the country right in another news yeti yes uh, this is one of the microphones so i am using audio technica 80 2020 this is one of the uh, good budget microphones one of the best budget uh, branded microphones out there and uh, blue yeti is also one of the best available in the market so blue yeti was purchased by logitech long back and now uh, blue they have a upcoming model blue yeti x so guys you can visit the link i'll be having all these links in down in the description you can actually go and listen to the sample voice which uh, tech crunch has provided over here in another news uh, considering Google Stadia we have they have mentioned something called negative latency so negative latency the idea of negative latency I personally believe cannot exist because some latency has to exist but Google's uh, definition of latency is that they are going to use uh, machine learning and AI to actually predict the user behavior in a game so uh, they will go they will predict what kind of attack or what kind of move you are going to make next and uh, th they are going to do it by themselves so basically uh, i believe that uh, there will be a day when we can just sit back and relax and see the ai play the game for us so uh, there are certain ais who, who can do that who can do that now i think facebook or my facebook was testing one ai in minecraft long back which was also quite successful so uh, here we can see that so i think there is one negative downside which i immediately see is that us streamers who would like to stream games can you know in the future the ai can stream the game by themselves maybe i don't know i got no clue so in another news red Dead Red redemption 2 upcoming a game by rockstar and the much hyped game as well i would say ha they have announced the minimum pc requirements which is up to uh, the minimum requirements is an i5 2500k if you have that 
uh, if you have that it is still relevant it was one of the best processors of in uh, launched by intel and the recommended system requirements uh, is of an i7 i4770 k and of course 770 gtx or a 1060 gtx respectively so guys give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more tech and gaming content thank you so much bye